We've been living in this Airbnb for 30 days. And in those 30 days, everything has changed for us. We decided that we're no longer gonna be renting out our own home on Airbnb. Keep watching to learn a little bit more about what happened in these 30 days that changed our minds completely. <laughs> So we didn't actually end up cooking as much as we thought we were going to. We ended up doing a lot of takeout because of the busyness of the season, but we did still love having a full-size kitchen in here. Having a full-size fridge and microwave and oven to cook with was really handy when we did decide to cook because you can't live for a month with a mini fridge. It just doesn't work. I have learned to love and hate these sparkle launchers. Now, I probably would never put these in my own home. It's just not my style. But when we first got here, it was kind of fun. We just enjoyed the remote feature. We liked lounging on them. They're pretty comfortable. But we found pretty quickly that this piece really was hard for us. We really like to spend a lot of our evenings lying on the couch, watching a movie, cuddling, getting cozy ready for bed. And this meant that we never really hung out together. We were always side by side. We just never really got to cuddle and hang out and watch TV together. So we thought we were excited about these and turns out they weren't actually our favorite in Airbnb. Smart TV was a huge plus. They have Roku TV, which we also have at home, which meant we were able to sign into all of our streaming platforms. We were able to watch whatever we wanted to, just like at home. And they put a swivel mount on here, which meant that we could watch sitting on the couches or we could swivel it and watch sitting in bed too. This bed was the source of all of our problems staying here at the Airbnb. And honestly, it was just really uncomfortable. Not maybe for everyone, but for us, we like a soft bed. This bed was extremely firm. And so staying comfortable in it for 30 nights was really hard. We ended up kind of jerry-rigging some system. We put a blanket underneath and that helped a little bit, but staying in a place for 30 days with a mattress that isn't the right one for your body type was very challenging for us. As an Airbnb super host myself, I usually stick with a medium mattress as far as firmness in our own Airbnb so you can accommodate um, back sleepers or side sleepers. For us, we're side sleepers and on a really firm mattress, we kept pinching the nerves in our back and it was just not a comfortable night of sleep. So another thing that made the sleeping difficult was the Wava windows are not blackout curtains. We have these windows here. We had this window above our bed. We had um, shades in the kitchen, but they were single cells and a double cell. And that meant that we got a lot of light in here while we were trying to sleep at nighttime. For a lot of people like us, that is really difficult. So between the bed and a lack of blackout curtains, for about a month, we never really felt like we woke up rested. It's a huge chunk of the year to really not feel like you're settled in your own space when you go to sleep. We ended up solving the problem with this window not having any curtains by like stacking these throw pillows up in the window every night, which really at the end of the day didn't turn out to be such a big deal, but would have been nice to have a curtain there. As people who both work fully remote in our jobs, a one room space was a little bit difficult to maintain our sanity when we were both at home working for meetings. So we ended up with a few creative solutions. We had the desk, we had the bed, we had the kitchen table and the couch. Having the two of us in the same exact room and the two dogs all while we were both trying to be on meetings meant they were both wearing headphones, the dogs were barking, we could hear each other talk. It was just a little bit tricky. Now, while it was a little tricky to live in this Airbnb for a full month, this bathroom has completely inspired us for someday when we decide to build our own house. We love the space. It has heated floors, which is awesome. It has a heated towel rack, a walk-in shower with two shower heads. And honestly, that completely changed the bathroom thing. We love it. However, one thing we didn't love was the fact that this bathroom only has a barn door, which means only really one of us can use the bathroom at a time if we want some privacy. And to be honest, the barn door doesn't really do much as far as privacy in the bathroom. 